Welcome to the short introduction to the Invit Multimodal Analytics Dashboard, which is powered by the WebLizard Web Intelligence Platform. The dashboard has been developed as part of the InVideo Veritas project, a three-year innovation action funded by the European Union's Horizon 2020 program. Invit detects emerging stories across social media channels and assesses their veracity. The visual tools of the dashboard are available in three different versions. This presentation will focus on the desktop version, while there is also a cross-platform mobile version that provides a much simpler, more linear user experience. Specific widgets of the dashboard can also be used to enrich and extend third-party applications following a visualization-as-a-service approach. The versatility of the platform enables a wide range of use cases. Journalists and communication professionals can identify trending topics, for example, or opinion leaders who have a strong impact on the public debate. Advanced search mechanisms also help identify the most relevant videos to be checked with the Invit verification app. In terms of reporting, automated PDF summaries reveal the impact of a story and keep others informed about the latest trends, both within an organization, but also as an information service for partners and clients. The ability of the system to perform real-time analysis across channels makes sure that important aspects of a story are not overlooked. Currently, the system collects user-generated videos from four different platforms, YouTube, Twitter, Vimeo, and Dailymotion. It then uses automated knowledge extraction methods to analyze each of the collected postings and stores the postings together with the extracted metadata for later analysis. In the upper left corner, there is a text input field to define search queries on the fly. Once the search has been triggered, the associations widget below shows co-occurring terms extracted automatically. The sequence of these terms reflects the degree of their semantic associations with the search query, while the values indicate the number of times those terms co-occurred with the search query in a chosen time interval. In the default view of the dashboard, this time interval is seven days. The bookmark section below the associations contains predefined queries and allows registered users to define and permanently store advanced search queries. Clicking on the bookmark labels triggers the search, while the rectangular markers on the left select them to be included in trend charts that will be shown later in this presentation. The stream graph visualization in the center shows the results of the query in aggregated form. It depicts the origin and evolution of stories and labels these stories with their top keywords. Below the stream graph, the stories are shown in more detail, including a lead article as well as a selection of related documents. On mouse over, a playback button appears next to the date in order to watch this video in the right sidebar. Below the related documents, the top three keywords are shown to summarize the story, together with the total number of postings that belong to this story. An arrow down symbol on mouse over allows expanding the set of related documents. Clicking on any of the shown postings opens the full text view. This displays the entire posting together with extracted metadata such as location and sentiment. The Verify Video button in the lower right corner opens the Invit Verification app, another key component of the InVideo Veritas project. The Verification app allows users to check whether a given video is authentic. By applying forensic filters, for example, or by conducting a reverse video search to find previous copies. The floating menu on the left side opens automatically whenever the mouse pointer hovers over the content area. It offers various types of analysis and drill down operations. In addition to the default story view, for example, users can display a list of documents similar to the ranked set of results of a typical search engine. The sentence view lists all sentences containing the search query, centering the search term and color coding it to reflect positive versus negative sentiment. The word tree aggregates all these sentences in visual form. With the search term at its center, it allows users to quickly grasp the major threats in the public debate. Different font sizes indicate the frequency of phrases, while the connecting lines highlight typical sentence structures. On mouse over, one can inspect a particular phrase and show related keywords. The entity view shows a list of persons, organizations and locations that co-occur with the search term. Underneath the name of each entity, three keywords indicate what's being associated with this entity. The columns on the right show the frequency of reference, the average sentiment expressed in these references, as well as the type of the entity. The source list adopts a very similar format to indicate the major content sources that influence the public debate regarding the search query. 
the keywords underneath reflect what the particular source associates with the query. The columns on the right show the number of mentions and the potential reach of the source. This reach is calculated based on the number of followers a page has. The impact then multiplies the number of references with this reach indicator. The column on the right shows the average sentiment of all sentences that contain the query term. This analysis across channels can also be displayed in visual form using a scatter plot. The horizontal axis represents the frequency of mentions, the vertical axis positive versus negative sentiment. By hovering over a specific source, one can show the temporal distribution of its coverage and what this source associates with the search term. Whenever a search is triggered, an animated transition highlights changes in the data point distribution. Thereby, a complete cross-channel analysis is available in less than a second. The right sidebar not only contains the video playback functionality, but also interactive visualizations that help to better understand the online coverage. The geographic map, for example, shows the regional distribution of this coverage. It does not show where the information originates, but rather which locations are being discussed in conjunction with the search term. The size of the circle shows the number of postings that refer to this specific position. Hovering over a circle activates the standard tooltip with a line chart and the top keywords associated with this particular location. The tag cloud below also shows associated terms, but without the focus on a specific location. It is color coded by sentiment as well. The saturation depends on the degree of polarity. Vivid colors hint at emotionally charged issues, less saturated ones at a more neutral coverage. The tech cloud is a good example to show that the tooltips are not only a good way to analyze the coverage, but also to refine the initial query. The first option replace triggers a completely new search for the shown term. Restrict allows users to drill down to a specific aspect of the coverage by searching for all postings that contain both the original query term and the tech cloud term. Extend yields all postings that contain either of the two terms, while exclude removes certain aspects from the analysis entirely. As already indicated earlier in this presentation, the dashboard not only includes the default story graph, but also line charts to shed light on recent trends. This function can be accessed via floating menu on the left whenever a user hovers over the stream graph. The datasets to be compared in a trend chart are selected via the small rectangular markers in the left sidebar. This can include any combination of association, bookmarks, or metadata attributes. The trend chart itself offers four different time series. Share of voice is a relative measure of attention based on weekly frequency data. Sentiment shows the average positive or negative perception of a certain topic, while polarization is the standard deviation of sentiment reflecting how contested a topic is. The term oil spill, for example, has a low standard deviation since everyone agrees on its negative connotation. On mouse over, a tooltip shows the number of mentions and associated keywords in a given week. The overall setup and configuration of the dashboard is managed via the various menus embedded into the header. The most important of these menus is configuration, which allows switching between drill down and comparison mode. In drill down mode, the number shown in the left sidebar represent the number of mentions in the context of the current search. Therefore, by definition, the sidebar counts in this mode can never exceed the total number of search results. In comparison mode, by contrast, the total number of mentions are shown independent of the search query. The configuration menu can also be used to select the interface language and to activate or deactivate specific sidebar widgets. For example, one can show a keyword graph instead of default tech cloud. This keyword graph is the visual representation of the associations shown on the left. It is a hierarchical display that summarizes how a topic is perceived in the public debate, providing interactive features to expand the graph. By either activating the tooltip via one of the nodes, or by clicking on the little plus symbol in the upper right corner to search for additional associations with all child nodes. Similar to all other visualizations, the keyword graph can also be maximized to show additional details. Data export is the second menu of the header. It opens an overlay to download fully formatted PDF reports, the complete set of search results, or various types of datasets and visualizations in different formats. The third header menu, Advanced Search, allows experienced users to specify complex queries, making use of all the metadata attributes automatically extracted from the online coverage. This includes not only text-based attributes, 
such as keywords, entity references, and sentiment, but also concepts and objects identified in the video itself, a fire truck, for example. A list of these extracted concepts is also shown in the lower left metadata sidebar, together with the classification of the search results into neutral, negative, and positive postings. Last but not least, the time interval for the analysis can be chosen by either clicking on the date range setting or by using the interactive timeline. The date range menu opens an overlay with two interactive calendar elements, as well as a quick selector for the past few days, weeks, or months. The timeline provides a visual overview of the long-term temporal distribution of search results. The selected area on the right can be expanded or moved, for example, to focus on a specific event a couple of weeks ago. The presented dashboard is publicly available at invit.weblizzard.com. On behalf of the Invit project partners, I hope that you have enjoyed the summary of the dashboard's interactive features. Since such a brief online tutorial can never replace a complete training session, we invite you to contact us at info at if you would like to receive additional information or to take a look at the official documentation at weblizzard.com interface.